In locks of artistry, our stories find their frame. A hairstyle's choice? More than just a name. Some styles can bring you fame, some will carry shame. With tresses styled in curls and braids, our inner beings expressed in shades, maybe for a day, maybe for a lifetime. An individual's mane is a glimpse into the mind. From daring cuts to subtle waves that flow, a hairstyle is magic letting inner beauty glow. Choose with care the strands that dance above, for every twist is a reflection of self-love. In strands, we find our stories interlace. The right hairstyle leaves a smile upon your face. Welcome back to Broken Dolly TV, all you pretty people. Today, we're going to take a look at a showcase of just one creator's CC hair. So we're going to be looking at Shea Butter, whose website via Patreon is up on the screen. Most of the hair is going to be Maxis Match. We're going to do male and female hairs in this one. And I did use Mod Manager in order to get rid of some of the hairs that came with this file that I actually did not need. So there's so many of them that I didn't even add all of them to my game. I think my game would break if I did. <laughs> but honestly, I didn't need all of them. So just the ones that I ended up keeping is what I'm going to show you guys. And it's possible that I might have accidentally deleted some files in my mod manager that are supposed to act as overlays for color swatches to change on certain hairstyles that come with like accessories like a hair bow or a tie or a scrunchie or something i'm not sure if those are supposed to be able to be changed in game because i don't have the option to change them in my game so i'm just letting you know maybe i accidentally erased it and i just overlooked that take it with a grain of salt if you see something you like and you're like oh wait it's only going to come with this color hair scrunchie i don't know for sure because i think i might have accidentally deleted those files so we're gonna take a look at what we have going on here if you guys are interested then check out the link that I'll leave in the description that will take you over to the patreon in the meantime let's just jump into this game so we can take a look at these hairs individually okay so I have like three collections that I put in here the braids collection some hairs from the afro collection and also from the lots collection you just you can't have enough hairstyles for black sims I mean, those of you who collect dolls know what it is when it comes to doll hairs. Like, it's so difficult to find the right textures for your black dolls, for your mixed race dolls, and any kind of ethnic dolls that have, like, different hair textures and styles. It's just so difficult to find stuff that's going to look good on them. And ain't no different in The Sims. The Sims game itself comes with plenty of hairstyles. Trust me, if you have multiple packs, you'll be alright for a while. But when it comes to specifically ethnic hairstyles, it's just not that much to choose from. And here's the thing about black folks. We love to make a statement with our hair. We love to switch up our hairstyles. I mean, you don't got to believe me. Just look outside your window. Look at how, like, your next door neighbors, if you got some black neighbors, just watch how they be moving. Watch, especially the women. Every couple of weeks, you're going to see their hair length changes, the style changes, the, the color changes. It just is what it is. Your hair is a whole mood for black folks. So <laughs> I got to be able to reflect that in my dolls as well as my Sims. This creator has made it so easy for you to do that because you can just find everything you need in one place. Everything you need is right there. Like what more do you need? There's so many different styles that you can pick from. Variants of the same style, which is another thing that I really love. I didn't keep all the variations of some of these styles. Like this one, for example, I think that there was another variant where the hair lays like one side comes up over your chest or both sides will come up over your chest because I don't like floating hair the preference is for the hair to be behind their backs I just don't want to fidget with it so I took all those hairs out of the game but the variation being there is something that I do like because it really depends on you and your preference I just happen to have a pet peeve when it comes to floating hair and it's been like that since Sims 3 for me so it ain't nothing new and that's just my personal preference not to see it in my game but if you don't care about that or if you find it funny and amusing to see the floating hair because some people love the chaos in their game they love seeing glitches then i get it keep it in there is so much options for you i also liked about this pack is that a lot of the hairs like this one for example with the the three knots and then the rest of the hair down there are styles that you don't even realize you need until you see it you know like this one for example there's a lot of afro hairstyles in my game already but not one where they have the side 
braids the cornrows on the side like that that's different this poofy hairstyle i thought this one was kind of cute it's not an everyday style i'm just testing out the different colors to see how they look i think this one will be a fun style for like party wear or even for second and tertiary outfits as like backup outfits for different occasions because that, that's not a hairstyle that I will rock on a sim every single day. The other thing I need to point out also is that uh, you probably have noticed that some of these hairs, there's baby hairs attached to them, but they're not actually part of the hairs, guys. All of the baby hair that you see for the most part is separate pieces it's a separate skin detail that you have to add to the sim in order for her to have the baby hairs i did that because the baby hairs are also created by shea butter and they have a baby hair merged package file that's just like a dump of hairs so i couldn't separate them so i just have to add them to the game just to see how they look to see if i like them or not and if i don't like them i have to remove the entire cc pack of baby hairs not just one at a time I like them a lot of variations so I just added them in here randomly on the hairs they're not matched up with the hairs in a way that's like complementing the hair but that's not the point I just wanted to show you guys the variety this particular hair also you can see that the scrunchie is blue so when you first put the hair on it's gonna be white but there is an overlay for this scrunchie so I changed the color to blue and they're all solid colors this ponytail is kind of interesting because it has this added little detail of like these strands that come off on their own like these individual strands that you can see one is a little bit longer than the others and the other two on the side that come off like that i just thought it looked very natural and realistic so i liked the way that that looked yeah so it's just so important to have many different options for black ethnic sims especially like in my case i'm trying to duplicate my actual real life barbie dolls into my sims game and create like a whole story for them that i can't play out in real life i need them to look as closely as possible to how my dolls look so that i will recognize them when they're in game as different characters so this is very important to me i don't know about y'all but i know what my dad used to tell me when i was a kid he used to always make a point of telling us to not go outside without doing our hair first it didn't matter if like our clothes were name brand clothes or fancy or not he used to always remind us as long as your clothes are clean and they fit on your body you know they're not too big or too small for you they fit on your frame everything else nobody cares just make sure your hair looks neat because if you go outside with your hair looking a mess people are not going to respect you they're going to think you're crazy they're not going to respect you or take you seriously and that advice i have been living <laughs> all these years on that advice that i got from my dad when i was like seven years old y'all and i passed that same advice down to my own children and it's so true some of these hairs you'll see that they have like white hair pieces and accessories like there was one that had uh kind of like a bandana over the head and then you'll see some other ones that have scrunchies everything you see that's just white is because i could not find the overlay in my game to actually change the color and that's why i'm assuming that i must have missed it i must have accidentally deleted it because one of the hairs one or two of them i was able to change the um colors for i must have deleted it right like i don't know for sure if you have these hairs in your game and you recognize anything and you're like yeah no there's definitely an overlay to change the scrunchie let me know in the comment section okay we got to talk about this hair though what is happening here i don't understand this i don't know exactly how to express what about it is so disturbing to me but i don't like the way it moves on her head and i don't like the way that the lines in the hair from the back i don't like the way the lines move something about it is like freaking me out you guys i don't know what it is i think it's my sensory issues i think it's just me because y'all know i got asperger's it, it's probably just me because it looks the silhouette of the hair is beautiful i really really like it and i wanted to keep it which is why i was testing it out here to see like is it just me but i don't like the way that the hair is moving this is the braided version of the ponytail the other one was just like a wavy version i mean from a distance it does look good but i i'm just very disturbed by the way that it reminds me of like snakes or something i don't know it's just very disturbing to me the way that the hair is moving and the, the i don't even know how to explain it you guys i don't understand what's going on here but like is it just me am i am i seeing things i don't know but i had to take th those particular two hairs out of my game because that was going to distract the heezy out of me this also this one i'm going to revisit in a little bit after i darken up her skin tone because i'm realizing that hairs like this where like i can see so much of the scalp to me it just looks a lot better and more blended in if the sim has a darker skin tone it's not as distracting to me again asperger's i'd be just noticing little details and things that 
most people overlook and don't really care about but I can't help it I just once I see it I can't unsee it look at how much better this hair looks on her dark complexion I think it looks beautiful on her and it just like pops for real for real and I'm not distracted by that part because the part feels like too much scalp is coming through that's just my preference though that's just the way that you know the way I feel about it and this one also has a piece in the front that comes up over her chest but it doesn't float which I really love it's laying pretty like close to the body and it will be even closer if I expanded her chest size but you can't really tell in that shot that it is laying pretty close to the body now this is the hair I was talking about see how like the scalp looks so much more blended in since it's darker than it did previously on the lighter complexion I noticed stuff like that this is another one where the hair is like in front of the body but it's laying pretty flat instead of floating in the air and another way I test this also is I'll change the the height the width and the size of the chest and sometimes the hair will move with the chest which is really alarming so those kinds of hair I always end up taking them out if they don't move around they just stay put then that's good because as long as the chest is not too big it won't clip through the hair yeah so this is another one with the hair band or the scrunchie that's just I don't know I don't know if it's gonna stay white or you can change the color but I don't mind I'm not upset that I don't have the overlays in my game because I probably accidentally deleted them I ain't fussing over it because I really can't even be bothered I might you know what maybe I on purpose deleted them and I'm just forgetting that I did because I would have only changed the swatch like this one to purple for you guys just to show you that you could do it honestly I can't even be bothered like when I'm making the actual sims in my game I could care less I don't want to change all of the overlays because you can't do it one time and it'll just copy and paste for all of the hairs like if you do it for this one outfit it's not gonna copy and paste so you gotta go in and manually change it for every single outfit it is so time consuming and unless I just happen to be working on this one sim at a time then I could do that but that's not how I do my sims I usually batch make sims like multiple households at a time I already have a story in my head for how they are going to interact with the world around them so once I have those storylines kind of going I'll make a list of all the different kind of uh, households that I need and then I'll just go through my list one household at a time and create all of my sims in a batch and that's just how I do it it's easier for me and maybe that's because I'm not actively playing the game right now I'm just setting things up I'm creating the world that they're supposed to be in and backstories for the characters that I need to have those maybe that's why I'm doing it like that I don't know if I was just playing like a current household one household at a time I probably wouldn't need to do that but just at the moment the way that I'm doing it it's just more convenient for me to just get right to the thing I need to get to without having to click through all these screens it's so annoying those of you who collect Barbie dolls I mean you know what it is when it comes to changing the hairstyle of the doll like if you get a doll and you don't like the hair or you want to change something about it you got two options either you're gonna remove all the hair that's already there and reroot new hair into the doll's head and then style it from there or try to work with the hair she already has and then restyle by by changing the texture of that hair and we do it we go through the motions we will take the time out to do that but this is why this is so important to me in the sims to make sure I have the proper hairs for my ethnic sims because ain't no rerouting over here they make it so much easier you just click a button and then the hair changes and my theory when it comes to sims and their hair is that they don't have any hair all of them are bald because they live in a world of simulations they can simulate that they have hair by putting on wigs right so like all of the hairs that you see in the game in my head is their wig and the trick is to try to make the wig look as believable as possible for that sim and their features that they have that it could possibly be hair that's growing out of their head that's the aesthetic that like the average sim is going for so that's why there's all these different options on hairstyles in their world like everyone already knows none of us have hair it's not even an expectation for you to grow hair because it's impossible for a sim to have hair you know does that make sense and I kind of think of them like virtual dolls it's the same thing with dolls every single doll is technically bald <laughs> but you can root hair into the doll's head to make it appear that she has hair and that's why when you get tired of it you can just rip all the hair out and then reroot new hair into the doll's head and completely change up her her look because sometimes I'll be making a sim and going like okay so this girl has dreads for her everyday outfit when I switch to her formal outfit and I want her to have a fancier hairstyle now I'm 
deciding should I give her straight hair should I give her a curly hair texture should I keep the dreads should I change to a different style of dreads and sometimes it makes sense to have that variety but then sometimes it doesn't make sense sometimes you're like no just switch it up completely make it look totally different because this personality of this sim it would make sense that they would just have a different hairstyle every single day just switching it up also another thing I don't really like is that you can't change the hair colors per outfit that's like the only thing that actually copies and pastes to all of the outfit categories is the hair color which is bizarre to me whatever the hair themselves won't even copy and paste all the way unless you do it a certain way I don't get why you can't change hair colors individually per outfit that's so weird is it just me am I bugging Okay, this hairstyle here that this guy has, it's a two-toned hairstyle. It's designed for you to be able to change the swatch of one half of the hair. Again, because I deleted the overlays, I don't know where that's at. I don't know if it's supposed to be in the hat category or the accessories category, but I know it exists. But for me in my game, I ain't going to be able to use that feature because I couldn't even show it to you guys because I deleted it but it's all good I don't need him to have two-toned hair because I just I just like the hairstyle itself another hairstyle that I really like that's for the boys is one that's gonna be coming up it's a set of dreads and it like covers up a lot of the, the forehead and the upper portion of the eyes half his face is covered up by the hair but I like that hair because I think it gives a lot of personality to this one whatever sim is wearing this hair I tried this hair out on a character who I have as a university student who's kind of like an introvert and he's very socially awkward and that sim wears glasses so when I saw how he looked in the hair I was like oh my gosh this is everything this fits this character so good because it looks like he's like hiding behind his glasses and his hairstyle from other people he likes people he wants to interact with them but he's a little awkward and it doesn't always go the way that he wants it to go so I just thought that that was like a really cool way to depict his personality with that hairstyle I love it and this is the kind of hairstyle that I would assume like a very confident guy would be wearing I just love the vibe of the hair and this is what I'm talking about your hair is a vibe y'all like your emotions your thought process your feelings your mood all of that you can convey through a hairstyle being able to show that off in the game with your sims characters how dope is that so if you don't already have some shea butter hairs up in your game you need to go get you some it's worth it if you don't use hairs by any other creator when it comes to ethnic style hairs you're like i can only i can only get one because i don't got room in my pc for all of this go with this one go with shea butter do what i did and just go through and delete the stuff you don't end up needing that's going to be so much easier to do if you actually have mod manager which i will show you guys how i use that to control my CC inventory if you want to see it because it's so much better to have everything organized so if something breaks you know exactly what it is and you can get rid of it quick there's two versions of this hair so the first version where it was all brown is the solid colors and then this version is the ombre version and the ends of the hair are going to change colors along with the roots I'm just clicking through so that I can show you guys the different swatches that this hair comes in there's a lot of versatility here if you've got a sim that's a little bit edgy and I could see this on like a university sim or a teenager just expressing themselves through their hair what this hair would be very complimentary with gameplay that goes along with parenthood and growing together I think so I just wanted to point that out there's two versions of that actual hair the textures look very authentic and match the aesthetic of the game so much Shea Butter's Patreon is filled with these posts of hairstyles y'all the collections will make it easier for you to just do like a dump into your game but if you want just individual hairstyles you can also do it like that too everything is free so don't freak out because you're like oh, I can't afford patreon just go over there and check it out I think that even if you do want to pledge the lowest tiers are very very cheap so I always recommend supporting these creators because they don't have to do this it takes a lot of time and attention and effort for them to make these hairs and they don't need to do it nobody's paying them to do this so tip them if you can and if you can't then share the information so other people can go over there and find their accounts coming up i do have a let's play series that i'm working on and it's gonna be barbie's horse ranch and her shenanigans with her group of friends as they try to get along with each other long enough to run a successful horse ranch I'm still setting everything up right now but it's almost done so get ready to go on that journey with me to see what kind of nonsense they get into and also i have 
have a CC tour coming up of some build by items that are freaking amazing that I want to show you guys. So if you are trying to expand your collection of furniture and building items, then this might be something that's worth it for you. CC is great because it's free. So if you are trying to add expansion packs just to get more objects or cast items in your game, not even necessarily for the gameplay, but it applies to gameplay as well. Don't hesitate to download some CC until you are able to add more expansions and you can always take them out later if you don't want to keep them. I used to have this mentality where I would be like, if I don't want to marry this CC, if I don't want to marry this mod, I ain't going to commit to it. And that's ridiculous. Don't be ridiculous like me. Don't be afraid to try things and take them right on out if you don't like it. I even have a folder on my desktop where I keep my rotational CC and mods. I don't have to keep re-downloading them if I feel like it's something I want to come back to at some later date. I just save it all inside of that separate CC folder and then I add them into my game when I feel like doing so. Alright, what did you guys think of these hairs? I want to hear your thoughts. We'll talk about it in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next one. My name's Gypsy. You're watching Broken Dolly TV and until I see you again, have a dolly day.